as a kid, you know, and growing up, is you kind of gravitate to what's your environment. And at that time, my environment was growing up in Red Hook, uh, living in the projects. Um, everybody was a New York Knicks fan. So you had to be a Knicks fan. So it was like they, you know, they instilled that in you. Now, well, I came from a, a smaller market in Denver. Um, not so much uh, scrutiny. Well, scrutiny is, you know, is tabloids, is media everywhere, but not like the level of playing here in New York. Uh, so playing in a small market, you know, you, you only could get so, you only could go so high as far as individual players goes. You reach that max. There's only so much you can do at a point at a point in your life that, you know, you got to look for something else. You know, a bigger a bigger stand, a bigger stage, a bigger market. So when you go to places like New York, you there, you playing, you there for two nights, uh, and you feel the excitement. You feel the difference. You know, the energy is different. The, the fans is different. Uh, the game is different. You know, playing in New York. And then you go back home and it's like, ah, I want that. It's, it's when you're here in New York, in the garden, uh, and you could be playing so well, and then you just have a, a breakdown in the, throughout the course of the game, and the Bulls will come. Now that's where you like, like, what the hell is wrong with these people? As far as player personnel goes, I, I would love to be involved in that. I mean, because at the end of the day, you, you're creating a family. I mean, you can't create a bond with somebody that's not going to fit in with you or not going to be there, you know, when you need them the most and don't understand uh, the game and how to win and situations in the game and things like that. So it's, it's, as much as it has to do with being, having the top guys on the team, superstars per se, you need the rest of your soldiers. You know, you need the guys that's going to go out there and you know, put their life on the line for you. Because it's a war, it's a battle. The average person just sees, uh, you know, opportunity to say that, oh, Melo should go here, Melo should go there, I think he should do this, I think he should do that. But they don't take into consideration the family aspect of it. Um, you know, your livelihood, like, you know, where you gonna be living at? And uh, do you want your kids to grow up in, in that place, in that city? Um, do I want to spend the rest of, you know, my career in that situation, in that city? So all of that stuff comes into play. You know, my, my son goes to school, he loves it, you know, here. He, to take him out and take him somewhere else, he have to learn that system all over again. He have to get new friends. Um, and I know how hard it was for me when I moved from New York to Baltimore at, at a young age, like having to work you know, your way to try to make friends and go extra to try to make friends and trying to fit in and trying to figure out the culture in, in, in that area. As far as this goes, like basketball goes, it's, it's hard to just say, okay, I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna make this decision, I'm gonna do that, because everybody is affected by that. And the average person is looking at it as next year, like it's just one year. Next year, you win a championship if you go here. Like we, we looking at the big picture here now. You, you're looking at the next, you know, six to eight years of your of your career, of the end of your career at, at that. So do you want to spend that much time in that place?